something happened. Something in the past made it so that humans distinguished themselves significantly from all other animals on Earth. We have cranes, drink coffee to go, and can communicate long distances with just the touch of a few buttons. Magnus Enqvist, a scientist, wants to figure out what it was that happened and why no other animal comes close to all of this. We want to try to solve a mystery, and that's why humans are so different. And what actually happened during our prehistory that made these changes possible. Between five and six million years ago, humans and chimpanzees' common evolutionary path separated. After this, our forefathers took some major steps in their development. And we're not just talking about genes here, but how our culture evolved over time. To try to understand why it's only humans who drive cars and not chimpanzees, Magnus and his group work with, among other things, replicas of our ancestors' tools. Okay, the dad is de äldsta typen av stenreskap som vi känner dem. Det stämmer. Det här är ju ett exempel på vad man kunde åstadkomma redan för två och en halv miljoner år sedan. What they're looking at here is the development of what is today a uniquely human quality, our ability to do things in a great number of steps. One problem here is, of course, that we have very little data from our prehistory. And the best source of information that I, at least I know of, is the manufacture of stone tools, where we can actually uh, uh, re replicate the length of the manufacturing sequences. Här har vi exempel på en fin spets. Och här kan man se att det krävs ganska många moment för att, för att göra en sån här. De här sekvenserna är så långa så det är omöjligt för en, för en, en enskild individ att komma på hur man ska göra en, en pilspets på det här sättet till exempel. Utan det är information eller kunskap som har, då har, har samlats på sig under många generationer. Mm, och som måste överföras från människa till människa. It is the information from the tools converted into letters and numbers that Magnus uses in simulations with the goal of understanding why we humans are so unique. So if we have an organism that just sort of, uh, can learn on its own, it can learn uh, to solve eight problems in this simulation. If we consider an that can think, but not sort of use any culture knowledge, it can solve 18 uh, problems. Just being able to do long chains of tasks wouldn't take us very far. But it is when this ability is combined with our culture that makes the significant difference. But if we combine culture with thinking, we get a, a much more dramatic result. When we add human culture into the equation, our ability for problem solving skyrockets. To really understand the differences between humans and other animals, we need to take into account uh, culture. And uh, we rely much more on culture than on genetic information to be able to survive and function in the environment we live in. Human culture is not something that does appear to us suddenly. It's something that builds up or accumulates over many, many generations. For instance, the ability to make complex stone toes is not just something that a single person can acquire or learn. It's something that is that knowledge has been building up over many, 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 many generations. An important question is, of course, what started all this that made us different from other animals. And the only really unique observation we have been able to make is that the human childhood is so much longer. And it's not just the length that is important here, but also the intensity of interaction between parents and other adults and children. And this allows, of course, a lot of cultural inform information to, to be transmitted. 
Many animals don't have any childhood at all. They have to make it from the very start with only the help of genetic information. Chimpanzees have a childhood of five years where they learn from their elders. Today, human childhood is four times longer than that of chimps. But because of the intensive interaction during this period, human children receive several hundred, maybe even a thousand times more information. And the, the consequences of this is, of course, that we, we don't have to rely so much on genetic guidance, and we can use culture instead. And we can be much more flexible in this way. One important part in answering the question of what made us so different from all other animals can be described as an unusually long childhood. <laughs> to be able to play and learn over a long period is a very nourishing luxury. Because of what we have gained through this luxury, mankind has taken a step that has enabled us to dominate the entire planet and in an entirely different way than any other species has ever.